It's arguably the most romantic day on the football calendar. Round three of the game's oldest, biggest and best domestic knockout competition as the Giants come up against the Minnows. Villa determined to avoid an upset at the home of Wickham Wanderers who are going well in League Two, currently in the playoff positions under Gareth Ainsworth. Two past meetings, both in the League Cup, finished in 8-3 and 5-0 victories for the Villa. I have a feeling this one will be much, much tighter. Froggy, a win, any win, would be so welcome. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's vitally important that, that we get some sort of result, Jack, because our position in the Premier League is perilous now. You know, we can't hide behind that fact. It's, yeah. it's looking much worse. I mean, the manager wanted six points from that Christmas period, which I think was trying to give the players a chance. But to come away yeah. from two points makes it, you know, it makes it really, really difficult now on, on every level. So, you know, sometimes the FA Cup can give you a bit of a breather away from the, the pressures of the, the Premier League. Although playing Wickham away will not be easy. With a team that's kind of devoid of confidence right now, it's really important that they, they find something in themselves. You know, we, we had a great run in the FA Cup last year. Something like that again would be fantastic because it, it, it sometimes it could spark a run and a bit of confidence. Yeah, a full house and Villa have to roll their sleeves up and, and get this job done. No time to be nervous or, or faint-hearted fully focused. Yeah, it'll be in interesting way. because a lot of the new recruits, I don't think they'd, they'd have faced anything like this before. You know, FA Cup Day is really passionate. The TV cameras are there. They're, they're up. The TV cameras are there because they're thinking there could be an upset, Jack. There's no yeah. other reason they're there. Wickham will be well set up. They'll, they'll make it very difficult. That They'll turn the heating off in the, in the changing rooms. They won't put any tea out. They'll make it very inclement for, for the Villa the team when they, when they arrive to let them know, look, this is not going to be a nice, easy day. The pitch will be set up for the home team as well. They'll make it awkward for, in every way, shape and possible. That, that's what happens when you play against yeah. the Minnows. Um, and when you look at the team, they'll be in the form of their manager. You know, Gareth Ains was someone I know very, very well. The wild thing used to be his nickname when he <laughs> played, but it, it, it's such an honest, industrious player he was. And I think his team will be moulded very much in the way he was. I love the third round of the FA Cup as a football fan and as an ex-player I'm sure you used to relish it but I suppose part of the charm most of the charm is due to the fact there are upsets and we don't want one here now it, it's it, it's your worst nightmare as a player when you're playing a lower league side mm. I mean I've done it at all three of my clubs you know you go to, to lower league opposition and actually you go there with a bit of dread because you don't want to be that that team that player to be remembered for being knocked out by no. by lower league opposition so you, you realise it's not a game of quality. It's, it's, almost, like a, it's almost like a derby game. Mm. Quality goes out the window. This is arms rolled up and you've got to battle and fight and scrap just for the right to win. And eventually what, what tends to happen, if you match the opposition at lower league level, the greater fitness levels of Premier League players slowly start to shine through, as does the quality of the play. Yeah. And you tend to find after 67 minutes, if you can break the mental resistance of the lower league side and they haven't scored, you then find... The last 20 minutes, you can maybe score two or three quick goals, which we've done at Wickham before, bearing yeah, in mind. Yeah, we have. Uh, fingers crossed. Everything else crossed. I've run out of things uh, to cross. I don't know about you. I think, you know, New Year's resolutions for every Villa fan would be just a win, please. Sir. <laughs> yes, um, OK. Well, it's been a long time, Jack. I mm. mean, it's, it, it's a distant memory of the Bournemouth game now. Yeah. And the manager knows it, it's a team... The confidence is shot, isn't it? Let's, let's not hide behind that. You know, you just hope that... To see the boys win a game would be brilliant for everybody. Just to see whether it sparks them into yeah. any sort of run and self-belief, doesn't it? Because it's not there right now and, and anything that can go wrong is going wrong on every level for us. OK, mate, thanks very much indeed. Much more analysis over on AVTV as we also look ahead to the home meeting with Palace. Andy Blair alongside me at Adams Park on Saturday lunchtime.